Welcome to the fourth part of this video series, on shortwave radio for beginners. In this video I talk about the shortwave bands, and how they work. Let's start. In the second part, we have already mentioned the shortwave bands. Now we know, that shortwave bands, are actually smaller parts, or sections, of the whole shortwave spectrum, and, that different bands are used for different purposes, like broadcasting, radio amateurs, or utility stations. The amateur radio bands, are additionally split up into smaller pieces. If you take a look on the 80 meters band, you see, that however, the whole band is between 3500 and 4000 kilohertz, the first 100 kilohertz, between 3500 and 3600, is only for data, and Morse code traffic allowed, voice transmission is only above 3600 kilohertz. This will be interesting next time, when we will tune the 80 meters band, in a live session. Also notice, that the bands can be a bit different in the US and Europe. The 80 meters band in Europe is shorter, ends at 3800 kilohertz. You can also remember from the second part of the series, that sunlight also has a strong influence on the reception. For this reason, some bands will work better at daytime, others, better at nighttime. Now we have all the basics about the shortwave bands, let's see, how you should use them. I have created this chart, for myself, to have all the important information by my side every time, I tune the radio. You can also print it out, and use it as a small help. The columns in the charts representing the different shortwave bands from 80 to 10 meters, from left, to right. Let's see how this table works. On the top, I use a short name for all the bands here. Note, that this isn't a conventional name, I just use it myself, to have a better overview. DX indicates, that the band is an amateur band, 80 indicates the meters. Broadcast bands are displayed with the letters SW. The next row indicates the meters. Here, a small pictogram indicates whether a band is an amateur band, or a broadcast band. For an easier orientation, amateur bands have a darker grey, background color. Most important, in this table, are the frequencies. The frequencies for a band are displayed in megahertz with black digits. Bold digits, like 3.6 and 3.7 indicate voice transmission, on these frequencies can you listen to the radio amateurs speaking. This is an indication, that the frequency is displayed in megahertz. The last row indicates two different information. For the amateur bands, it indicates, if the band should be used in upper, or lower side band mode. Generally speaking, frequencies under 10,000 kHz, should be used, in lower side band mode, the frequencies above 10,000, in upper side band mode. But, there are of course, exceptions. Do not take this rule too strictly, and experiment yourself with the settings. Finally, for the broadcast bands, a sun, or moon icon indicates, if the band should be used daytime, or nighttime. Moon means nighttime, sun, daytime. This also applies for the emitter bands, by the way. Generally speaking, frequencies under 10,000 kHz, should be used rather nighttime, the frequencies above 10,000, rather daytime. Some frequencies may work the whole day. But again, there can always be exceptions, experiment yourself, shortwave radio is an analog technology, borders are always soft. Now let's see a very typical use case, if you want to listen to radio amateurs, at night time, you should use the 80 and, or, 40 meters bands, and set your receiver, to lower side band mode. If you use the 80 meters band, don't forget that voice transmission, starts at 3600 kHz. The same applies, 
to the 40 meters band, where voice transmission starts at 7100 kHz. This is basically how the shortwave bands work. Next time, we will do a live shortwave listening session to see how the theory is working in practice. You can also contribute to more and better content for shortwave radio by asking questions in the comment section. If you have enough questions, I can provide some Q&A videos on the topic. New content is available every Tuesday on this channel. See you next time. Comment below and thanks for watching.